the channel. My name is Jared, and today we're getting around to finally installing my Mishimoto Performance Radiator. Many of you may know that I currently am running their cheaper alternative that you can get for about $350, $360 on Amazon and eBay. Well, when towing, I've been having some issues with it keeping my temps down, so we're upgrading it. Mishimoto took care of us, sent me out a new Performance Radiator for free, and we're going to install that today. Now before we get any further into this upload, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys, what your experience is with radiators, whether it be OEM, performance, there's a lot of cheap all aluminum radiators on eBay I know some of you guys are running, so drop that information down below. Now also, last week I started getting a check engine light for the fan clutch. I did go double check all the wires, make sure nothing is shorting out, which typically will short out. I believe it's your number 22 fuse for your PCM. There's a fun fact for everybody. Uh, those, of you, those of you that have been following the channel know that's what fuse blew on me when I was at the drag strip for the first time. Anyway, so we're gonna also be replacing a fan clutch today. Not exactly what I wanna do. I should have just probably had this replaced when Greg had it apart in the first place, but oh well, live and learn. So we're gonna be doing that at the same time. We'll have some extra room with the radiator out anyway. Anyway, YouTube, we just pulled up here to DNA where they're making some stuff happen here. Greg ain't working on trucks today. go check out what he's up to. I tried telling him to get on it, guys. He's not gonna. <laughs> oh, I got on it a little. What's up, YouTube? We came back over to DNA, Diesel and Automotive Performance in Brownstown, Pennsylvania. Greg had to run. That's who you guys just saw. And I just ordered a fan clutch. I thought I did, but I did not order it. So we're getting that in. I just wanted to show some changes to the shop coming. And also, if anybody knows or is looking to purchase, Greg is selling those wheels. They're 16 and a half by 12. He has them polished recently. He's looking for 450 bucks, guys. So anybody in the area that does mind coming up here, leave a comment down below. I'll get you in touch with Greg. So anyway, we ordered a factory fan clutch. I went with just the OEM one. Uh, no, no upgrades, no snow prep package. There's no point for my truck really. All it really does, is, from what I can tell, is it engages earlier, which can be nice, but at the same time, it also is sucking up power. So I'm gonna do a blue wire mod to the truck. That should really take care of all of our issues that we may have as far as cooling goes. So we're gonna get that done. Right now, we're gonna go over right down the road here from Diesel and Automotive, get some uh, coolant for the truck, and then we are gonna head home, let the truck cool down and start tearing stuff apart. So now we just have that fan clutch to get off. I did have to take out my coolant filter here, so I didn't have to remove my factory air box. That's not factory, <laughs> factory on this truck, that's funny. Anyway, I didn't need to take out my air box because I did just take this off. That gave me the clearance I needed to pull everything out. Now, let's take a look at this core. So now, quick taking a look at this core. It is it's about an inch and three quarters uh, thickness obviously the ends give the illusion that it's much thicker with the ends being almost three inches so the core on the new one is just over two inches two and one-eighth inches on the new one the old one is one inch and one and three-quarter inch excuse me other than that, it looks very similar. And one thing to take a look at how much of a difference this makes is look at this edge here. And then look at the edge you get here, how much deeper this edge is. 
you know, like I said, these tops are, I believe, are identical. So that's how much more core area we get. It doesn't sound like a whole lot extra, but I think it will add to some pretty significant gains in cooling capacity. Okay, YouTube, here's the old radiator. So just looking in here, I can see what people are saying that this really necks down to a pretty small fitting in there. So come over to the new one. I got one of these plugs installed. And I don't know how well that's showing up, but that is significantly larger on this one. Uh, on both sides, they were both significantly larger. So put that back in until I get that switched over. So we definitely have increased transmission flow, or at least transmission fluid flow through the new one. Excited to see what that does for us exactly. I know in my tow review, I kind of listed what my temps were. I'll have to go back and double check some of them because I only remember my coolant and oil uh, temps. But definitely looks like an improvement. I do remember my transmission got hotter than I would have liked to have seen it. So I'm expecting a lot from this, pretty excited. This should be a pretty significant upgrade from my previous design that I already had. Okay, YouTube, the truck is done, the fan clutch is in, the new radiator's in. The only thing I can say right now is I did notice that the fan was spinning faster. I did check the speed uh, than it normally does, so it was spinning like 850. Normally I see about 450 uh, just sitting out there idling. We will get into testing that tomorrow, actually driving around a little. I'm going to do a little bit of driving around tonight and see what's happening. I have a little bit of a mess to clean up. Not too bad. That box needs to go in the truck. So, in short, I will say this, if you have to do a radiator and your fan clutch is older, I would recommend just doing it, having the radiator out. So much more room in there, it makes it a little bit nicer. It is not 100% necessary. I was about to do it over the weekend when uh, the fan clutch wasn't, when I forgot to order the fan clutch, that is. And Greg kind of told me, like, hold on, let me make, let me see how fast I can get this out here because... You're going to want to do this at the same time and greg came through as always got it out there in about an hour or so uh i had a phone call saying it's here sister let me borrow her car to go pick it up because i started tearing the truck apart a while anyway guys this video is not the whole how-to it's just showing bits and pieces i'm going to do a thorough how-to replace your radiator and fan clutch at a later date probably coming out this week uh, I do have some videos to get caught up on, guys. I swear I'm working hard on that, but we're really, really busy. So stay tuned. We're going to get get around to getting all these videos out to you and also getting back to some fun stuff like dinos and hopefully some drag racing. Anyway, guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to drop a comment down below, and I'll see you next time.